Bill, can the existence of God be demonstrated? Well, it all depends on what you mean, obviously, by demonstrated. I don't think there's a mathematically certain proof of God's existence that will compel belief. But I do think that there are good arguments for God's existence. That is to say, I think there are arguments that God exists that have true premises that are more plausible than their opposites and that logically imply the conclusion that there is a God. So I think there are good reasons to believe that God exists. What are some of these reasons and how mm -hmm. would you follow the argument? Let me just list them without explaining them. One would be, I think, that God is the best explanation for why anything at all exists rather than nothing. Uh, another one would be that God is the best explanation for the origin of the universe at a point in the finite past. Another would be that God is the best explanation for the fine tuning of the universe for intelligent life. Another would be that God is the best explanation for the existence of objective moral values and duties in the world. I would also argue that God is the best explanation for the historical facts surrounding the person of Jesus of Nazareth, particularly his radical personal claims, his miracles, and his resurrection from the dead. There's the famous teleological argument, which would say that the universe exhibits a complexity in its structure that cannot be attributed plausibly to either chance or to physical necessity, and that therefore this is best explained by saying it's the product of intelligent design. I would also think that the very concept of God, once it's properly understood, entails that God exists, such that it's metaphysically impossible for God not to exist. And then finally, I would say that it's possible to have a personal relationship with God and to know God personally. And that latter isn't really an argument for God's existence, it's the claim that you can know God exists wholly apart from arguments simply by having a personal and intimate relationship with God the Creator. And if you integrate all of these together, how would you describe the level of confidence that someone should have having all of that together? I think it provides a good cumulative case that would be convincing in a court of law, for example, that it makes the existence of God more probable than not.